the head cold. My brother-in-law had, on the paternal side, a first cousin whose maternal uncle had a father-in-law whose paternal grandfather had married as his second wife, a young native whose brother he had met on one of his travels, a lady by whom he was enamored and of whom he had a son who married an intrepid young lady physicist who was none other than the niece of an unknown petty officer, a fourth grade officer of the Royal Navy, whose adopted father had an aunt who could speak Spanish fluently and was also perhaps one of the granddaughters of an engineer who died young, himself the grandson of the owner of a vineyard, which by the way produced very mediocre wine. But he had a second cousin who was a stay-at-home, he was a surgeon general, his son married a young, attractive woman, a divorcee, whose first husband was the son of a loyal patriot who, in the hope of making a fortune for himself, had managed to bring up his daughter, one of his daughters, so that she could get married to a footman who knew Ruth's child whose brother, after changing multiple trades, got married and had a daughter whose great-grandfather wore spectacles which were given to him by his cousin, the brother-in-law of a man from Portugal who was a natural son of a miller, not very badly off, whose foster brother got married to the daughter of a former country doctor who himself was the foster brother of a son of a forester whose father, another former country doctor, had married three times in a row whose third wife 